So uh, you are here to make gifts, and it's because of Give It Up. And Give It Up, it's an annual gift making competition for the most creative use of digital, called digitized cultural heritage. And we hold it every year in October um, for, I think, seven years or something like this. And it's run by Europeana, which is Europe's platform for digital uh, heritage in cooperation with global partners who also provide digital uh, cultural heritage content. So um, the website is give it up net. You can check it out later. You can check it out in another tab. Um, I am here with Maggie um, and Tamara. Uh, we will um, help you throughout this workshop by showing how to make gifts, but also providing all kinds of materials and links, including this slide deck in the chat. So just um, keep on clicking, opening, uh, and um, yeah, later on, you will be able to ask us questions and we'll uh, show you how to get in touch about gift making. So uh, quickly, things we'll explore today. So we'll discuss why gifts for um, playing with cultural heritage content. Uh, we will explore some simple gift making techniques using free and online available tools. And we will kind of learn how to use and share gifts online in case you want to make this kind of animated art or you are interested as an educator or a cultural heritage professional uh, in using gifts as a way uh, of working and kind of uh, supporting other types of content. So why GIF? So GIF is the second most popular image format on the internet after JPEG. And in a way it's the language of the internet because it's a way for people of different languages to communicate together in a visual way. It's very easily shareable because it's light. It works uh, across various platforms and messaging apps and websites, which is quite important because a lot of uh, communication now it's going on through WhatsApp, uh, Telegram, through also stickers on Insta, for example, and GIFs are used for all these things. And a fun fact, Oxford Dictionary named the GIF the word of the year in 2012, which is quite fun because it's already 10 years ago, but this format, even if it's quite old school, I think it's around 40 years old uh, now, uh, it's still um, kind of popular and um, people use it. So a GIF is a tiny animation uh, and it's a little story by itself, but it can support also a bigger story or, or a narrative. Um, it can convey reactions, which you probably know because you for sure sent some uh, to your friends. It can also illustrate things which are just easier to convey visually or um, kind of enrich conversations. Um, it's also an art form and an art form which is available for people of all skills and backgrounds. So of course there are like professional animation artists who make a living out of it, but everyone, students, educators, uh, people who have passions in different topics and would like just to show those things better, uh, can learn and make gifts. And it's also a way to incorporate cultural heritage collections in people's daily lives, because the way we explore culture is often through history and through knowledge. So uh, with gifts, it's a little bit different. You look at content with different eye. You look what is nice for animation, what is fun. So you don't need this kind of prerequisite expertise. You can just have fun and at the same time, use the historical material in order to kind of build the present out of it and out of everything that uh, humanity made, cultural heritage, art, 
are one of the nicest things. So it's nice to have a reason to look at them. And now Maggie will present you a few gift-worthy open collections. Hi, everyone. Yes, so before we start uh, doing some gift making, we thought that maybe you would like to see some open collections that might be uh, useful uh, later for uh, to use as a resources. Um, so the first thing to do would be to go to the page that I'm putting in the chat right now, which is giftedup.net selected collections, get inspired. And there you can browse on uh, many different collections from um, on topics like art, um, uh, sport, uh, film, you know, tons of uh, different stuff. So if you uh, like to explore, uh, go and, and look through those collections. Um, but for this particular uh, event, I picked up a couple of um, uh, of collections that might interest you, and I divided them into uh, uh, two categories uh, that uh, correspond with the categories that we have now actually as special uh, categories for the gift it up. So, in case you pick up, uh, in case you pick up uh, some of the uh, uh, material from there, you will be able to also participate. I see that someone is asking for the slides. The slides has been added ah yeah okay great i'm gonna be uh, i know that people are joining so i'm gonna be posting them once in a while in the chat no worries um so first let's look at the um at the nature that's the first category special category for the gift making and i link you in the slide some uh, nature photography you can see this beautiful iris um, there are some animal studies like uh, like this elephant and some cool botanical drawings uh, like this uh, i think it's a fig uh, fruit and at the end uh, there's also a gallery uh, that uh, contain uh, different uh, depictions of animals in art and photography. And let me just, uh, just in case, you know, you don't have good uh, access to the slides, I'm putting the links again here. Um, and I'm gonna also give you like, if you would like to use uh, in your uh, creations, this three particular uh, objects, there are also links just to them specifically. Um, maybe let's go to the next slide, Alex. Yes, and this is the second category that we have. It's called crafts. So all, all crafty artisan thing uh, that you can think about it. And here we share uh, some of the um, some of the, these are very diverse collections. So um, I added here some historical fashion illustrations, as you can see, um, there is uh, tons of porcelain and crockery, uh, if you're interested in that. And there's also uh, newsreels from the Netherlands Institute for Sound and Vision. These are very cool uh, material uh, that you can use, um, that you can basically pick parts of it and create gifts. And I actually think that uh, so let me just put the links here. And I think Alex, uh, you're gonna be speaking to us about how to do exactly the that thing, right? Yes. <laughs> so back to you. I'm adding all the links in case you uh, in case you want. If uh, someone missed something, please shout in the in the chat. And if you have questions, uh, shout too <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> I'll be there. Back to you, Alex. Yes. Yeah, so. How does it work? Actually, one image is one frame of the animation. Frames combined create movement. So in order to have like very simple movement, you need to, if you have some more, of course, it's more fluent, more interesting, but it's quite easy. You just need two images combined as a basic thing. And there are GIFs from two images that work perfectly. Um, but let's explore some techniques. So uh, Maggie uh, just mentioned um, craft videos. So um, this would be perfect for this kind of um, gift making. So what you need to do is to watch those 
craft videos or other ones and find the moment which is kind of a perfect loop that people really look can look and it never ends it's very smooth so um it's a way to show kind of an essence of a longer video and moment which is a kind of like really important um can be used as an intro of a summary if you have like a bigger project and like with more animation this is really cool to put on socials and um it's a way to grab attention because like often people will like get hooked on it and just kind of stare and um if you have a video of a couple of minutes if you click through to like uh the netherlands institute of sound and vision you will see that there are news reels and they are uh, of a few minutes long and some of them have a few uh it's worth to capture all of them kind of write down the start and end time um because once you start working with them you might like start working with one then you decide oh the other one was better so just for efficiency whether you do it for give it up as a contest or for your own work for whatever topic uh worth to capture all of them and kind of uh use them later on um so you just save time and you don't have to rewatch everything constantly because i tell you if you watch a lot of stuff you forget what was where so to uh make a perfect loop uh find an openly licensed video and here is a tricky part so a lot of video material will be in some kind of copyright um because it's new so pay attention uh on european now you can always uh, see the license of each piece or if each item so you are sure that these are okay the ones we are linking are also okay but in general if you will like find video on the internet beware because it will probably be in copyright so uh watch and find this kind of essential moment that tell a story in a few seconds and try to make a smooth animation like make to make something 100 percent precise is difficult but if it's like reasonably that it's quite fluent uh it's good enough and um in the toolbox slide which is like one of the last slides you'll get the slide deck so you will find it when you are working later uh, you find this easy nifty free tool uh, called easy give so you can upload the video there watch pick the start uh, end moment and adjust the speed and like um, choose a few other options for your gif and you can just save it and you are ready to go so uh, this gif um, took me a maybe a minute to make um, but it's a fun topic for like winter but also all kinds of struggle like people share it uh on giphy and uh, they send in messages and this kind of stuff which of course have a meaning as you see it literally but also can mean something else are very cool for online sharing because then you can get that and this was just a simple piece of news from the 30s or something like this and it totally gets a uh, second life now so another thing uh very social media and internet-y um expressing emotions so this is something that is human universal evergreen works across languages and it kind of works in the same way as an emoji so sometimes you uh send an emoji to someone sometimes you will pick this kind of gif or on insta for example also a sticker and um yeah if you don't want to use words or like you don't know what to say uh this is an easy one to to use so those these are give it up entries which would like wink and cry they are um again used a lot um and i think they are from like a couple of years ago but people keep on like sending them and they really get millions of views uh every month because they are just so universal and at the same time they are um pretty easy to make so how to um there is this website uh cartoon.fo.to uh 
where you can play with different expressions until you're happy with the result. And you can like combine a few ones to do like a wink, a smile, and then it's a little bit of a like, longer thing showing someone's mood. And yeah, um, it's something that you can do quite quickly. And um, you have the submission ready in a couple of minutes. Uh, of course, there are like other effects which you can combine with it. So we'll then talk later about the color change and stuff or stickers on Giphy, which uh, you can enrich your entry with. But if you are like confused for the first time gift making, finding a portrait and kind of using this software is a very easy one to start. And then as your imagination gets going, you can continue and do something more complicated. A series of pictures. Uh, so this is cool to illustrate movement, evolution, change, or to show multiple versions of the same thing in one go. And can be also used as some kind of slide show. So for example, um, the same house um, at different periods in time, portrait of the same person, um, at uh, different stages of life. Um, it's possible to show a lot at once. So if you work on a project or editorial, instead of having a very long scroll for your audience with just uh, flat images, um, you just show uh, stuff within uh, one screen. And sometimes the content calls for it. So we have this movement and photography studies by Edward Mar Mowbridge and they are absolutely perfect for this. So they are linked at the end again in the resources slide. And how you, what you need to do. So you need to find an image like this. Uh, we have over 250, so there is choice for everyone with uh, humans, with animals, people playing support, people walking, um, animals in movement. Uh, you can crop the images and then save them individually. So when you have them in order, it's really useful to number them to keep the order correct. Because uh, if you don't do it, uh, you get it uh, in random, or it can get random and then your movement is uh, disordered. And again, um, use the same easy GIF but then another um, service of it, which is Give Maker, you upload your photos in an order, you save them, and then you get the animation from it. So this is an example. Someone just found on Europeana plenty of pictures of Darwin and just from different angles and yeah, put them together. And then you have uh, this uh, illusion of movement and he also changes a little bit. So um, here's another quite easy one. Um, so this is super fast to create. Uh, it's possible to quickly take advantage of trending topics and searches um, on Giphy. So if you see something trending, uh, you can create something similar very quickly. And um, I know some of you are um, educators or like uh, work with groups of people. Uh, so this is fun for um, this kind of work because you can give everyone the same image and let them create their own story. And on one hand, it shows how much different things, how many different things you can do with the same image. On the other hand, you kind of um, get people to really animate uh, within minutes. And just a little example. So this is like a scientific image of the moon. I added those few stickers and it got over a million views, I think within a couple of days. So uh, you can do it as well. So this is something that you do uh, entirely on Giphy. So Giphy, the GIF search engine has this uh, GIF maker tool. So you upload your image. There is also a place for the link of the source, which is great. You always should link, link the source, even if the image is open. It's just nice to give 
credit, you can play with uh, stickers, filters, captions, kind of see what you can do uh, with this um, image. When you are ready, you press continue, you upload, um, and you save the um, work on your computer and then you can um, upload to give it up. And if you want um, to create something that is trending, uh, Giphy also has this content calendar. So um, you can make um, kind of sticker GIF related to this day. So kind of beyond the Giphy it up contest, you also can do something that uh, will uh, maybe get popular just there. Another technique uh, which is not about movement, but it's about color change, is a fun way to um, animate one significant part of an image. So for things like going on off, dark light, um, seasonal or cyclical changes, for example, the leaves changing colors, this kind of things, this is a fun one. And for this, um, you can use a service called Pixlr and just create the layers. And in each layer, you change the color. Um, later, when you're using the slag bed deck, this is um, the button you have to use. And you replace the color you, you want to become different. And you can start with two layers, so for example, light on off, but you can also do like a color changing effect. So we had a lot of uh, gifts of this time, for example, with clothing. So like changing color of the dresses, this kind of stuff. And us in the craft heritage with fashion, um, I would recommend you to take a look at that because it's a fun one. And it's something that um, is quite catchy with uh, low effort. So, uh, for those uh, that like this kind of old school aesthetic and like to do crafty thing with their hands, um, there is also an option of doing stop motion. So um, this is suitable for group as well and for audiences who find it easier to work and play with physical objects. So. It can be children, of course, because can be that in a classroom, you don't have a computer for everyone. And even if you have to control everyone uh, using a computer is challenging. But also, for example, for older people, if there are historic images, it can be easier for them to kind of uh, run their imagination and creativity when they actually have something palpable. And it's a funny way to use the digital content to go analog and then go back to digital again. And how to do it. So um, as always, find openly licensed images, print them and cut them. So um, scissors are always good if you have like small uh, details. Scalpel is a good choice, but uh, I don't recommend it for working with kids or people who have trouble with uh, like holding stuff because uh, it's sharp. Um, install a stop motion app on your smartphone. So there are three apps uh, for this, for example, Stop Motion Studio or Pickback. Basically, you can do all the basic stuff with free versions. Um, we can also use paid versions. They have some more functionality. Um, you need to place a paper sheet as a background secure with tape because if you see the printed little pieces, they can be a little bit fiddly and uh, prepare a setup from shooting from above. So um, it can be a tripod if you have one, but uh, you can also do a good job with just like a staple of books and getting your phone just sticking out a bit so that it has this view uh, from above. And what you need to do is place your characters or objects, take photo, move, take photo, and um, until you are happy with your animation, with different moments in your animation. And this can be done uh, manually. So you like put something, take a picture, move, take another picture, or if you use one of those apps on automatic mode, they will just shoot pictures every couple of seconds. So this is how it looks like. Um, I made this GIF of people exercising on 
sun of the and the moon as exercise balls. Um, and here you see a little bit like my hands moving the stuff. So out of all the pictures that uh, the app took, um, I just removed the ones containing my hands and uh, then cropped the image so the piece of my table uh, is no longer visible. Um, so this is quite cool. For example, if you work with a group or kids to let one person control one object or and character. And in this way, uh, you invite people to kind of communicate on coordinate. Everyone has a task. And at the same time, you kind of get uh, uh, work that is done by a group rather than everyone working individually because like shooting pictures and stuff, uh, you, it, you need a lot of patience and it's quite a bit of work. Alex, just to uh, say one thing for that uh, method. I think this is my favorite method of making GIFs because it combines this digital and uh, analog way. Uh, but it's also for anyone that would like to uh, participate in this craft um, category for Give It Up, that would be also considered uh, crafty. Uh, so not only using the um, uh, the content that uh, refers to artisan, artisanal or uh, or crafts, but also the method of uh, creating the the gift uh, would fall under that category. Yeah, that's uh, indeed a crafty method, and um, you know it's October. The evenings get longer, so if you have a chance, and if you didn't do crafts for a while since you were at school or this kind of stuff. Uh, we really recommend that. Um, there is a lot of content on Europeana, by the way, which is perfect for that, because I think that we have this cutout dolls, Maggie. I don't, I don't know if we can find it now, but I, we can uh, add it maybe to like selected uh, collections later, which are just made for it to like, be paper dolls that are moving. So. Uh, go for it, give it a try. And yeah, let's see, we are curious. Like those things, they are quite simple, but they always be look beautiful, like no matter what you do. But patience, like make yourself a cup of tea or something and just uh, play around. So about publishing and sharing. So for Give It Up the contest, there is a submission form and you put it there. Then Maggie and our other lovely colleague, Marika. I uh, will give you feedback whether what you publish is okay, whether it's open in license and eligible for the contest. But um, if you want to show your work online, um, you should sh share it elsewhere as well. So um, we are adding it on Giphy to the Give It Up um channel so um it's quite popular um it got 1.3 billion i think now it's already 1.4 over the last years and we also have another one for europeana where we use um europeana content kind of to to inspire people and um also to illustrate our editorials uh you can check both for inspiration and kind of see how the things look like uh what can you do um, you can also use um, GIFs on your own social media, just um, yeah, to be proud and to kind of show what you are doing. Uh, you can uh, publish it as an element of editorial. So if you, for example, write for online, um, you can, instead of flat image, just insert a GIF. Usually it's like an iframe that you can embed. So you can embed from GIF. You can also upload as an image and it instantly makes uh, your work more lively. I put an example uh, about Arnivo explained in GIFs. Uh, you can click through later on uh, for the deck. Um, you can also make stickers. So on Instagram, if you are like putting your stories, uh, there are those stickers. If you make um, the background of the GIF transparent so that one element is moving, um, this is a way to make a sticker. 
Now you can do it directly in Giphy, so it's quite uh, easy and straightforward and takes just a couple of minutes. Um, if you want even more action, uh, you can add a sound and make a Giphy clip, which is then a full tiny little clip with uh, sound and image as well. And as I said, um, next to the resources that Maggie presented for special categories, which we would love you to explore because they are great and they are about topics that are important. Nature is important. We want you to explore those collections, learn about it, what are the plants, animals, and the crafts just to see that, you know, in the digital era, just to explore what people were doing with their hands, how they worked manually and how beautiful stuff they created and also kind of created yourself with your scissors and stop motion. Um, we have some other ones, so face expressions. Um, I drew a number of nice portraits, which are very uh, good for it from uh, different museums. Uh, also photos, because it works with both paintings and photos for a change of color. So everything with like very sharp contour um, kind of work. So stained glass, they are quite amazing. It kind of gives this uh, light uh, effect, but also neon lights and lamps. You can play with it. It's a lot of fun with different colors. Um, for uh, stickers and other stuff, um, just selected collections. And then for the series of photos, so like propping and putting together a series. Um, and yeah, just uh, also a selection from Welcome Library. And again, all the tools uh, that I mentioned and some more in one place um, so that you can uh, explore all of them, see what works for you the best, what works on your devices, uh, what is fun. And uh, of course, um, you can try one to create one GIF. You can combine different. Um, the uh, limit for entries is three, but of course you can submit one, you can submit two. Uh, it's up to you. Usually people start and then uh, they want to make more because they find more images that are inter interesting or they want to try another technique. Um, but yeah, if you create one, it's fantastic. You can be proud of yourself. If you discover that it's something that you love, go for it, submit three different ones and kind of learn uh, three different things. So, um, Give It Up has an Insta profile, which we opened lately, which you are welcome to follow. You are also always welcome to visit Europeana for gift making content, content, but also for online exhibitions, blogs, and all kinds of uh, inspiring uh, cultural heritage. And we also uh, put our Twitter because uh, this is where a lot of kind of um, cultural heritage uh, theme discussions are going on. So now uh, we have some time for questions and we also have some time for you to try those techniques. Maggie, do we have any questions in the chat? Thanks, Alex. Uh, you actually answered the question that was uh, about the amount of um amount of uh, gifts that uh, someone can submit. Uh, yeah, and I, uh, as Alex said there, um, free is the maximum, but we actually encourage you to make more, as many as you want to try out different techniques and then just choose the free that, or one or two uh, that you like the most, basically. So it's, when you start doing it, you actually gonna want to do more, like, I think based on the experience, so. Yeah, so I see there was a question already answered in the chat, but in case mm -hmm. someone else uh, is still not sure. So of course we provide open collections um, for those who don't want to search, don't know how to search, uh, want to start somewhere, but uh, you are very welcome to browse through the content of all the partner institutions and use whatever you want as long as it's openly licensed. 
so um, if by chance um, you're kind of browsing and search will bring you somewhere to a collection or an image which is in copyright and by accident you use it, this happens a lot. Um, and you submit, we will not reject you automatically and you will not be like uh, in trouble. You will firstly get an email saying, hey, the content you used um, is not eligible. Would you like to fix your entry? If we see a way for you to fix it, we'll also give you a little hint. Because um, for us, the idea of uh, Give It Up is not only to get the entries and like reject people who weren't eligible, but also to educate about the licensing while doing this um, fun stuff and kind of understand um, licenses. So every year we get a couple of dozens of entries which use either yeah, close license or in copyright item, we contact everyone and try to really give them a chance um, to find uh, another image and swap and just to learn through it because and the best way to learn is through your own mistakes and the next time you'll pay attention. So if you are unsure before you start, this is also a good moment to ask. So I think dropping us a message on um, our Insta, I think is the easiest way to kind of get answers specifically about this because Europeana is uh, about everything, but our Insta channel uh, is only about give it up. So um, yeah, I would say uh, go for it if you are not sure. We are always happy to help. We know it's a bit of complicated world. Uh, but at the same time, it's a lot of uh, nice material. So, yeah, do it. Yeah, do you have any tips, Maggie, for don't open worry. licenses? Uh, for open licensing content, I actually gonna maybe, um, Alex, uh, maybe we can show how to filter the content on Europeana. Go um, for it. Yeah. Just to, uh, but uh, can you open? Sorry, can you? Can I ask you for help? Because uh, uh, I don't want to take over the screen. Um, if you just go to Europeana and show the filtering. And in the meantime, um, I think you can take over this... the screen because I gave it back. OK, one second, I will try. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, there is a question from Donata. Um, she think that uh, I have tried an animating images with the given software. It might be hard. Uh, can you suggest a very user-friendly app for beginners to be used on a mobile or on the PC? Alex, maybe uh, some of those tools are pretty easy to use, but what would be your recommendation for like a starting, starting? Person? I think for like the, someone who never ever uh, did anything, the going on Giphy uh, and using stickers would be uh, like the first step because it's really there. And otherwise, uh, this uh, kind of face morphing expression app, it's also a very simple upload and uh, the selection. So once you get the deck, I think the easiest is to kind of click through and see what works and what doesn't, because depending on the person and on device they work in, one thing can work better than the other and it can be different for for everyone but like giphy uh gif maker should work on everything the stickers yeah i think i i added that uh, into the the, um, the chat uh, one other question about the social media from grupa alternativa mm -hmm. um how do you make your GIF available in social media searches, for example, on Facebook? Uh, when I search for a GIF referring to exercises, how can I see my GIF among the ones that show up? Yeah, so um, on Giphy, when uploading the GIF, so all the social networks and websites use um, the Giphy keyboard, which sources images from Giphy. And when you upload images on Giphy, there is um, room to tag. You can add up to 30 tags. 
and you need to do kind of a keyword research which is similar to um, keyword research as you do when kind of doing SEO work for a website. So um, you have to kind of describe what is on the GIF and um, make like create precise keywords and also different variations of them and if possible uh, in different languages. And uh, also in the slides, uh, we showed um, trending kind of searches, trending and upcoming searches on Giphy. So you should be using them as well. And once the GIF is published and tagged, of course they are ranked. So the ones that really perform well are being ranked high and then um, they will show us first in those searches. So there is a combination of like correct tagging and the quality. Thanks, Alex. There's, uh, that was very, very good answer. Uh, there's also one question about do GIFs need to use JPEGs or can they be PNGs or other formats? So every uh, format will work, but um, what you want from your GIF to be kind of easily shareable um, is that it's light. So uh, JPEGs are usually lighter. Um, so even if you have a PNG, I would say um, change it to JPEG uh, so that it uh, it's less heavy because um, I don't know if you experience that, but if you are like sharing a lot of GIFs like on Slack and in this kind of things, um, when you put a heavy GIF, it doesn't show the preview and GIF without preview is just a link. So you need someone to click in order to see it. And what you want is that it's immediately visible. So um, it's important that it's light, that it loads fast when published on the site and um, that people can see it immediately. So uh, I would go for JPEG as a source material and relatively small size. Um, to Maya, can you show us the free collections on your piano that we can use? So in the slide deck, there are plenty of uh, uh, collections ready to use. On the giveitup.net, the contest site, also plenty of open collections. If in trouble, if in doubt, whether stuff is open, you can contact us. If you submit something that wasn't open, we'll, you'll get an email uh, with info that you need to fix it. Yes, so there is a lot of uh, specifically chosen uh, collections, as I said, um, the one that you can, um, find on Give it up. these are chosen specifically because they are open. So you don't need to, you know, um, yeah, you can, you can feel um, comfortable, you know, using them. There, there shouldn't be any issue. Uh, but of course you can also uh, look through the websites of uh, any of the partners uh, if you want. And maybe I will try to share the screen. I like, I'm sorry that I'm a little bit struggling, but let me try if I can share and show you uh, if you would like to just, uh, can you see my screen now? Yes, we can. Okay. I can, so I guess the rest. <laughs> Great, so tell me because I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm assuming that you can see this. So uh, just to show you in case you are, you're not feeling inspired by all the collections that we prepared and you would like to look, or you would just look, want to look for something specific, um, then you can just go to uh, europeana.eu and just to show you can put, of course, your uh, the term that you would like to to look uh, but i'm gonna go just through everything and in terms of looking for content content specifically for give it up the most important part is to mark this filter can i use this so you just put yes uh, that this is available and then uh, either you look for videos if you want to to try to see um, video material or you mark image and that gives you all 16 million uh, records with the openly licensed image that you can use for give it up. So I hope that's helpful.
Do we have any more questions? Maggie, you can actually show another thing. Mm -hmm. So if you found your dream image, you can save it in your own gallery. Oh yes, that is true. Uh, that means I need to log in into galleries. Let's see. Just work. quickly, the question. So easy GIF is perfect for uh, combining images, and um, we also linked the um, software for cropping. Those are two uh, different things. Um, but there are many others. Like everything that uh, crops an image is perfect uh, for combining easy GIF. Or um, yeah, there are also other GIF makers. So what is important is that uh, when you crop your number and you kind of make them all the same size so that uh, you know the, the movement is fluent. Uh, Olga about um, getting help when you cannot animate uh, something. Uh, yes, you can get in touch about that. Um, if you are stuck, like we cannot animate for you because it's a contest <laughs> and we organize it. But um, yeah, in case you like, um, you know, you are stuck with a tool or you have a question, you are always welcome to to get in touch. Yes, of course. We are. Yeah, so um, give it up. Uh, Instagram is the best way to get in touch because this is really the profile that only give it up stuff comes to. So uh, follow us there and ask all the questions through DM. Do we have any other questions? Um... I think we can show the account and the galleries just. Oh, uh, yes, let's try. Let's see if I can. Uh, let's see if I can. Um, uh, Alex, I have a <laughs> I have an issue finding our um tutorial for the for the galleries do you know what i mean like the page explaining how to join how to make an account i'll link it okay i think that's gonna be the best because i don't want to go through okay let me try again. Yeah. Did you link it in the chat? I'm putting it there uh, in the chat. Great. Right Great. So uh, on the, let me see, we don't have, on the page, my computer is not as fast as I thought. Um, if you go a little bit below, just in the meantime, a question whether underage students uh, can participate in the contest. Um, so yes, we have a special category um, for um, young people up to 18. Uh, and we did have participants uh, who were underage. I think the younger participant was 11. And um, in the submission form, there is a tick box uh, saying that uh, you participate in the youth category, but there is no special form or anything like this because there is no like image use, no personal data beyond the email. So uh, if you are an educator or a parent and you want um, children, uh, youth um, to create gifts, they can do it, they can submit just tick the box um, that they are uh, participating in the youth category because it's a special uh, prize category and it's also evaluated a bit differently in jury. Um, if they are um, 
first time gift makers, which as a young people, they uh, might be. Um, there is another box to tick saying that they are first time gift makers. So this is also another special category they would be eligible for. And um, all the entries are eligible for the public award. So um, this is also another chance to win. So a lot of fun for uh, younger people. Also, we have prizes standard, uh, which are, are like Domestica courses, Etsy gift cards. But when we got the participants who were very young, we adjusted the prices for this for their age um, after discussing it uh, with your parents. Yeah, exactly. So uh, once again, you have time to submit the gifts until the end of October, so 31st of October, whatever time zone you are in, we're not uh, we're not going to exclude you. Like if, uh, if it's a little also, bit later. Also, uh, from Svetlana about a tutorial. So um, we kind of showed this workshop as an exploration of different techniques, because in the past we noticed that um, it's very difficult to do a step by step tutorial live. It's uh, very difficult because everyone is on different devices. It's difficult to watch and create at the same time. But when you go on giveitup.net, there are a lot of tutorials step by step, both blogs, so text and uh, pre recorded that you can just pause and um, work with. So go to the site, explore what is there. There is a full list uh, for all levels. So for free tools as we presented today, but also if you have Photoshop, if you have Procreate, uh, we have more advanced uh, tutorials and master classes for you to uh, deepen your knowledge. So um, just explore and whatever you like to learn, uh, you can do it. Yeah, so all the useful material is on the giveitup.net. Uh, and I'm, you, you can see my screen, right? <laughs> so these are all the tutorials that are available also from the partners. And is there a tutorial here, Alex, from the one of the participants here also? Nick, uh, I think it's, yes. um, I think it's on YouTube, actually you should ah, yes. have it here. But yeah, there is like an advanced, like three part uh, from very basic to advanced tutorial as well. We'll add it to the site, but it's uh, also available on European uh, YouTube. Uh, Jessica, who made uh, her first gift, congratulations. Uh, cool, you enjoyed it. If Bravo. it's more online, uh, feel free to link, link it or share on social media using the hashtag uh, give it up 2022 and if you are happy with the gift you just made and you think it's eligible for the contest go and submit it if you want to make more better one go for it you still have over two weeks to work on that okay uh, are there any more questions uh, we just have like five minutes uh, to show you um, the uh, gallery functionality. Uh, and also about the tutorial, this uh, workshop is recorded. So uh, there's gonna be a, a video for the participants available. So in case you you know, you know want to uh, follow it uh, again with the techniques that Alex was mentioning, you can, yeah. Yeah, Review then you can yourself. really pause yeah. everything because like the text you have on slides and the kind of stuff that I say in combination with images that are there. If you um, open another tab and work and just pause, it's easier mm -hmm. to work through it and you really can follow and make a gift. Exactly. And if you uh, if you want to collect yeah, material on European specifically, you just go a little bit uh, low. On the front page, you have the create an account. Uh, or there's another uh, here you cannot see because I'm logged in, but there's also an option here to um, in the menu to create your own account. And if you get started, yes, you will see. Uh, I'm already logged in because that's going to take uh, a moment for, for my computer to log in. So uh, you will have a form to uh, make the account. I think accounts are available for. 
uh, people above 13 years old, Alex, if I'm correct. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to uh, collect some stuff for your children, they uh, you can use you know your own account. And here I made some. You can make um, uh, public galleries or you can make private galleries. Uh, I made some public galleries specifically, uh, for example, dogs in art, uh, which is again an open uh, open collection. Uh, that I made from, from the material on Europeana. And basically, as I was uh, showing you, if you are just going and looking for uh, the material, please remember to mark the yes filter that you can use it. This means that it's an openly licensed material. I'm gonna put the image and maybe find, let's see. Elephant. Let's see what's gonna happen. And we have some elephants. Oh wow, uh, this on the right is amazing. Made of people. It's a welcome collection, of course. One of our fi favorite yeah. uh, partners. So yeah, yeah, you have the opportunity to just like it, uh, which just makes you know a one list like in any other social media. Um yeah, to, to have a list of your likes, but uh, in terms of creating, uh, preparing something for Give It Up, I think it's better to create a gallery. So you add um, uh, you add the plus, and here you can create a new gallery basically with elephants, and you can keep it private. This means that only you can that you can access this only from your account, only when you log in, or you can keep it um, uh, open. And that um, that basically means that you will have a link to that gallery that you can. I'm oh, sorry, no, it's uh, that's gonna uh, be that you can share with. Uh, yeah, other so people. The, the public galleries, um, you can share them with the link that you have if you want to send to someone or share or uh, show but we also look through them and the most interesting ones we um, feature every month in our newsletter because we notice that the ideas that people have and things they curate are absolutely amazing and they are like things that we would never think that um, can be found or people can be interested in so um, if you are very passionate about the topic, if you want to use it for Give It Up, uh, amazing. If you want to collect it for other research, creative projects, it's also cool. If you think there is a gallery that is absolutely amazing, um, it's related to your passion, your job and stuff, uh, you are always uh, welcome to contact us on social media, drop a line, and um, you have a chance to be featured in our newsletter and have it seen by uh, our subscribers. Yeah, so uh, in general, yeah, that's not only for Give It Up, but if you would like to yeah, collect something and share that with other people, uh, yeah, do go make a public gallery. We are very happy to see all the creations. It's always extremely inspiring for us to see what people are collecting actually and how how like the interesting stuff you can find in Europeana so uh, please do so uh, everyone we reached the time and thanks for all the kind words and chat I'm glad you enjoyed it um, we would like to say now use the skills that we showed uh, in your gifts play with it um explore the cultural heritage collections because there is a lot of interesting stuff and also if you are not used to like making art and making creative stuff you might find like a new type of enjoyment that you normally don't have online and then the stuff you create can be seen and used by others so it's a lot of fun um, if you have questions, yeah, ask us on Insta, follow us, comment. Uh, we are always happy to help. Um, as we said, we want it's a contest, but we also want people to learn and enjoy and kind of share our enthusiasm about culture. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, anything to add, Maggie? 
No, just uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us for this workshop. And we really hope to see you uh, in the Give It Up contest. <laughs> yes, uh, the deadline is 30th of October. So 17 days to go. Weekend is approaching. If it's rainy, you know what to do. Thank you. Thank you so much.